We're with Tim Johnston, the president and CEO of Desert Lion Energy. Welcome to Small Cat Power, Tim. Thank you very much for having me. Of course. So tell us about Desert Lion Energy. Uh, what is the company's focus and where is it based? So Desert Lion Energy is a hard rock lithium asset located in, in Namibia. Now we have a large property, it's 301 square kilometers, uh, with three historic produ producing lithium mines that we're taking back into production in 2017. Great. So what is the company's uh, project resource development plan for the next 12 months and what are some of your goals? So to date we've completed about 10,000 meters of drilling, include mostly diamond, some RC. Uh, going forward we have another 14,000 meters to be completed before April of 2018, mm -hmm. at which point we'll be releasing our maiden resource. Great. So uh, for long-term goals and short-term goals, what's next for, uh, for the company? So our key focus at the moment is going into what we call phase one production. So phase one production is production from these historic mines that we're producing from the 1950s through to the early 1990s. And we're now taking back into production to produce lithium concentrate with our first shipment expected to go out in February of 2018. So this is the first large scale lithium mine in Namibia. Tell us about the project infrastructure and uh, a little insight about Namibia. Yeah, not a problem. So we are located in a very strategic part of Namibia. We're halfway between the capital of Vintuk and the port of Wallfish Bay. So we have direct access to the main road. We're 30 kilometers away from the National Highway. Uh, at that point where we join onto the National Highway is the site of an existing rail loadout facility. We're 200 kilometers away from the port. We have direct access to the power network and we have water infrastructure available on site. In terms of jurisdiction and operating ability within Namibia, uh, we're fully permitted and, and ready to go into production. Uh, we've been in Namibia now with our partners for, for many years, uh, and we feel very confident that we're in a jurisdiction where we can not only just develop a mine, but we can develop and operate it in a way that is suitable not just for the local Namibians and the local population, but also our shareholders right across the world. Investors are always interested in the management team of a company. So tell us about your team's experience in mining. So our team is experienced not just only in developing lithium projects, but developing assets right across Africa. So myself, I've been uh, an engineer since 2007, having worked for an engineering firm called Hatch. My main focus whilst I was at Hatch uh, during that period was to develop lithium projects for the likes of SQM, Albemarle, Rockwood, Rio Tinto, AMG, and a, and a bunch of other companies that uh, the viewers will be familiar with. We're then supported by a very capable team at the board, uh, chaired by a gentleman called Adonis Perulis. Uh, Adonis comes from the Pella Resources Group and has been responsible for founding a number of mines in Africa, and, and groups that people will be familiar with would be the likes of Petro Diamonds, Chariot Oil and Gas, Rainbow Rare Earths, Alifura, for example. So we feel very confident with our not only our technical experience and our understanding of how to develop a lithium asset, but also with our ability to execute in Africa. So Tim, tell us, what could investors be expecting from uh, Desert Lion Energy in the next six to 12 months? So we're in the process of listing on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, that's expected to be completed in January of 2018. Uh, going forward from there, we have a number of key milestones coming up. We're going into production now at the end of 2017 with our first shipment coming out in early uh, February of 2018, followed by the release of our main resource in April, uh, which will also coincide with the release of our PEA. So we have a number of things to look forward to in 2018. Great, thank you so much for your time today, Tim. Thank you very much for having me.